Hey guys, CT Stealth here, and I'm just continuing on my based on my last tutorial where we were setting the FKI key switch. So uh, I'm just going to continue on. I'm going to shift middle mouse click the reverse node to the orient strain over here, and I have five of them. I already did the first one, so make sure I make the output X go to the FK ball weight zero and I just kind of keep doing that over and over again until I'm out of uh, I'm out of these constraints here so I'll just keep doing that just like that alright so now I have this interweb of basically everything goes through the controller and then the controller goes all that information goes into this reverse node and the reverse node will then send the information to each, each adjacent um, orient constraint here. So what this means is that this controller is now influencing everything that's going on between the two. So I'm going to select my FKIK, make it 0.5 because that's the middle. That's That means there should be a perfect balance of the bind bones. And I'm just going to rotate this and I want you to see what's happening here. So as the um, as I rotate the FK controller, it's moving the spine bones, and the switch. If I select the, my switch, and you can see me switch between zero and one here, and I'm just to do this, I'm just holding on control and middle mouse dragging left and right, and as it hits zero, it's fully, completely influenced by the FK controllers, and when it's on one it's fully influenced by the IK controllers. So now when I move this controller, um, the bind bones, which you can't see because it's in the exact point of the IK bone, it's going to move perfectly along with that. And there's my controller. Okay. And then when I slowly blend, I need this blend for animators so they can animate between the two switches just like that so I can move this as much as I want and if it's completely zero it doesn't matter where the IK handles are it won't be the bind bones will not be influenced by the bones here so this is this is really good and this is exactly what we want um, so I'm just gonna make this 0.5 like I said I limited it to be between zero and one because we don't we don't really need anything else. If we go over that, which we can, um, it causes some calculation issues. So, that being said, uh, congratulations on creating your switch. And my next tutorial, I'm going to be setting up the stretchy for the IK. So, you can make that an available option to your animators. And I'm going to make it kind of like a side tutorial. I'm not going to like mainstream it because not everyone puts stretchy on their legs. I mean, it's not that important, but like, let's just say if you're rigging for uh, like, oh, something with war, that's a realistic thing. There's not going to be a lot of stretchy there, but if you're, you know, you're adding like cartoon, um, people, you know, want to, to have that option to have stretchy and add a little bit of exaggeration. So, um, my next tutorial will be about stretchy, but the mainstream tutorial that I'm going to be focusing on next is, um, well, actually, it might be the spine. What do you know? I, I never actually thought about getting rid of stretchy, so yeah, I guess it would be the spine. Um, I'll create another leg, and then I'll start working on the spine so you can see how that works. And um, I guess I'll see you all next time.